All right, everybody wants to see inside. So uh, let's see here. What's a good way to photograph this? Let's uh, let's kind of start from let's kind of start from this side here. Um, we've got a big transformer over here, obviously fully custom. Even a shield around the transformer, which is really nice. Um, and then we've got. Uh, Let's see here. Let me move the camera. All right. Uh, a lot of interesting thing in here. Uh, looks like maybe some Burr Brown relays in here, solid state relays. Um, and it is all surface mount. Let's see if I can find a date on here. Uh, not sure. What kind of uh, capacitors do we have in here? Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Nipicon. Uh, those look good. We have a big uh, tunnel here where the air goes through. This is the thing that makes all the noise. Uh, maybe I'll... I probably won't replace the fan. I'm not going to use this thing all that much. Maybe put it in the rack so the fan goes through here. I've taken out some nuts here. This this board is the I/O board, so I think we can I think we can remove it. But be careful with this. Couple cables on it here. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. All right. Um. So a DSP chip, uh, a 320. Xilinx. Uh, let's see if there's a 99, 99, 19, 95. Yeah, 99's the latest date I've seen so far in this thing. And let's see if I can. So obviously all of the ROMs, it's got two ROMs, one for the DSP probably, and then one for the, uh, oops, one for the DSP and one for the program. And then down this away, we got some interesting boards. Let's see here. Flip this around. And... This board here is the DVM board. The DVM comes on a connector back here. So this is this is the DVM board. So that's kind of cool. It's probably just kind of the pre pre signaling, and then it comes back to an A to D someplace else in the board. But all of the uh, precursors are up here. Then we've got the big, 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 big guys over here for the power supply. Big fets. One, two, three, and four and uh, they're on this big tube heat sink with all the fins on it uh, here's an interesting uh, I don't know what he's doing there but he's interesting big capacitor maybe uh, I don't know what that is kind of standing up off the board and everything I don't know what that is interesting Let's see here. Let me kind of tilt this up out of the way. Yeah, it's hard to see in there. Yeah. Everything looks top notch. Now, one thing I did notice on the front, and I may do this. There is actually, um, uh, there is actually room right here for a couple of banana jacks, uh, binding posts on the front panel. And there is, I don't know if you can see it, but there is space here for those to come out. 
So I could install banana jacks on the front. And I would have to figure out how to get wires from up, up there. I think, I think it's doable. Might be interesting. I wouldn't have any sense lines. I'd, I'd have sense lines here. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that sometime. Let's look at the back panel. Um, so here is, here's the back panel. Let's see if I could put some, uh, some of these things back in to hold it in place. So we have the GPIB connector. We have, uh, it says remote. I don't know if this is an RS-232 option or, or not. I haven't checked the uh, full manual. Um, it might just be IO pins for remote programming and stuff, but um, it might be RS-232 as well, but it has GPIB. And then it has uh, some inhibit and FLT. I'm not sure what those are, but some type of also uh, interlocks and stuff for safety um, for your for, for, uh, test setups. And then here is output number one, output number two, and then the DVM. So lo lots of these nice little uh, these nice little connectors here that pop in the pop in the back, and then there's some uh, there's some big ones here that. Uh, this one, oh, this one goes up here. Uh, so that one goes there. And then there's some bigger ones that go onto these guys. These guys here, there we go. So it's a uh, sense and minus, plus and minus, or sense plus, sense minus, plus and minus, and then ground. So those come out on each one of those. Yeah. Looks pretty nice inside. Uh, it's all steel construction. This big, a lot of the weight is this big steel frame and then the giant transformer. So the thing is pretty heavy. And they have a cutout here so you can get to these big fets in case they need changing. You come in here and solder, unsolder and unsolder those fets without having to take it all out of the, out of the machine. So they thought about, uh, thought about repair when they built this thing. That's nice. All right, let's get it all back together. Interestingly, it has a checklist here. Installation and operational checklist is on the, uh, glued on this side here. A little check things. Make sure you've done this. Make sure you've done it. Check the phone connections. Check the operating settings. Yeah, interesting. Open sensely detection is disabled. See manual to enable open sense lead. So you have to have the sense lead connection, otherwise it doesn't work right. Interesting. And it has a little broken there. I have to glue that back on. It came like that. In shipping, but... Uh. All right, there you go, our tour of the insides.